What up? It's Jimmy from odds.com. This is a clip from our big NCAA football bowl extravaganza. And we are running white hot right now. We break down the eight games on January 1st and January 2nd, the eight bowl games. To watch the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. Last game on the card. What a job you guys have done. Orange Bowl time. Number five ranked Texas A&M Aggies, eight and one on the year. First number 13th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels. I've already doubled up on Texas A&M first half and full game. We're at Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Gardens, Florida. Texas A&M opens up at minus six. That moves to minus seven and a half. This total opens up at 68 and a half and is now at 65 and a half. Texas A&M had an excellent season after losing in week two, 52-24 at Alabama. They ran the table, won seven straight games. They ended up on the outside looking in for the big playoffs. Their offense put up 437.2 yards, scored 31.9 points per game. Senior quarterback Kellen Mond led the way, completing 63.5% of his passes for 2,050 yards, 19 touchdowns, three interceptions. That 19-3 and three is beautiful. He also ran for 258 yards and three touchdowns. He had trouble connecting with wide receivers. His favorite target was tight end Jalen Weidemeyer. Uh, 45 passes he caught for six touchdowns. Running back Isaiah Spiller ran for 986 yards and seven touchdowns. They also have Anya Smith, a running back, who ran for 293 yards, four touchdowns, but very dangerous catching balls out of the backfield. Second in receiving for this team, 37 catches, 439 yards, six touchdowns. Their defense was very strong, allowed just 316.6 yards per game, 21.1 points. Senior linebacker Buddy Johnson led the defense with 76 tackles, three sacks, one interception. North Carolina finished the season winning four or five games, culminating in that big 62-26 win in Miami last week of the season. The Tar Heels are dealing with injuries and opt-outs. Their offense was excellent this year. They averaged 43 points and 556.6 yards per game. Sophomore quarterback Sam Howell was very good, completed 69% of his passes, 3,352 yards, 27 touchdowns, six interceptions. They had a two-headed monster at running back. Michael Carter and Javante Williams both rushed for over 1,000 yards, combined for 28 touchdowns, both have opted out to prepare for the draft. Their third string running back, DJ Jones, will be out with a foot injury. They are searching for backfield depth. And uh, you lose the top three running backs, but they were so heavy with those two top two during the year. Leading receiver, Jami Brown, 55 receptions, 1,099 yards, eight touchdowns. He's also opted out. So there's your best two running backs, your best receiver. Gone. Their defense gave up an average of 395.8 yards and 28.4 points per game. They are going to miss the leader of that defense, Chaz Surratt. 91 tackles, six sacks, an interception. He's opted out. They have some injuries to Storm Duck, a defensive back with lower body injury, and Obi Agbuna, undisclosed, but those guys play smaller roles. It's enough for me to understand that North Carolina won't be able to run the ball. So all you have to do is focus – on the wide receivers and Sam Howell, and they're missing their best receiver, and Texas A&M has a great defense. I'm all over the Aggies. Here we go. Big Ragu, Hard Rock Stadium. Uh, we were there together, my friend, not so long ago. This is the last game on our bowl coverage card. Take it away. Yeah, everything. I mean, everything points at A&M right now. And the line is the line moved up, what, a half a point? So far, if, if you think it's going to rise up before the game kicks off, maybe to seven and a half, eight points possibly. I mean, we've still got some time. But I don't know, man. I just uh, – Mac Brown, I know he's been there before and done that. If anybody can motivate a team and get his team ready to play, it's Mac Brown. My initial take on the game was the, was the over. I was I had a dead over on this thing, but – I know they kind of run that balance attack. And then, you know, Howell's very dangerous outside the pocket. And with that two-headed monster, like you're saying, you know, gone, opted out, that's that's definitely going to hurt them. You know, and, and then uh, A&M's defense is nasty. Mon's having a pretty good year. I mean, just it's a pretty easy cap if you look at it. It's just whether, you know, whether they get to the, uh, to the number. You, did you double or triple up in this spot here? I doubled. I first half full game to – yeah, I think that would – I you know, I still got an inclination of maybe um, a team total here for uh, for 
A&M may, or for North Carolina under possibly. I might look at that. Maybe a team total. Let's see what the team. T- what do you got for a team total for uh, a and or for Carolina? Even though they score forty something points a game, I think it's a very interesting look. Let me pull it up for you right now. The team total twenty seven and a half. And that's under. If you want to go under the twenty seven and a half, it's plus one ten. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab with that. I'm gonna take the under on. Uh, I'm gonna take the under there, and then I'm gonna take a first half look on A uh, and M. Wow, that's interesting. So that number is going to go up because it's minus 150 to the over, dog. So that'll be at 28 and a half tomorrow. So you're getting a plus 110 yeah. on that team total under. Yeah. Wild. Okay, like let's, let's bring up your first half options here. So Circa giving the best full game at minus seven. Let's see what they're giving first half. Oh, Circa is minus four, but let's just see if I can beat that. This is our last game, and – that MGM is giving you three and a half, but it's very expensive. Okay, so you could get a minus four at minus 110 or minus four and a half at plus 100. Give me the give me the four. So we we'll the first half. Here's my only concern with A&M. How motivated do you think they're going to be after getting shunned? I know Jimbo pleaded out, you know, to, they deserve to be in. I wonder how they're going to come out for this game. That's the only thing. You know who scares me is, is, is Brown because he's like the master motivator. He'll make me and you want to run through a brick wall if we were on the, on the sideline. <laughs> so so that, that, guy's, that guy's magic. But um, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I think the team total under is, is probably the best look for with, with all the pieces missing. And if they, they, they spy how and then – they could probably, you know, maybe maybe full game under two. It might be a good look too. What are we looking at on the on the total for the game? The full game has dropped from sixty eight and a half to sixty five and a half, sixty six. I'll take the sixty six under also. So we have a triple up for the big ragu. He's on first half minus four for a And M minus one ten. He's on North Carolina team total under twenty seven and a half at plus one ten. Available at bet three sixty five. And he's also on the full game under. I'm going to line shop for your full game under. Let's go to DJ Big Boss. Last game on the card, the Orange Bowl. Take it away. Well, here's Texas A&M again. Um, you know, SEC school really killing them on the strength of schedule. And uh, that, that might have something to do with it, the hook on the line. But um, I really like this North Carolina team, you know, plus they played Notre Dame. So since they played Notre Dame, you know, they thought much better of themselves. So now they're going in this game to win. And just like uh, Big Ragu said, like, Mac Brown is the guy. This is what he's known for doing. You know, they might have had a, a eight and 8-3 season, but this is where he makes the money right here. So I really like um, – I really like Mac Brown. You know, I'm all about coaching. I like him grouping up the troops. But more impressive than all, one of the most impressive quarterbacks in college football to me was Sam Howe. And I really like uh, what he does over there. And he's he's going to be difficult for Texas a and Texas a and is coming from SEC ball, you know, you know, use a little strength, a little muscle, run a little basic play and try to, you know, quality athlete your way out of there. Mac Brown is using speed. He's using play calling. He's using, you know, all types of different aspects of trying to win the game. And think about it. If these guys are opting out in this Mac Brown system, now Mac Brown here has been long enough to get some recruits and everything into the system. You don't think these guys is as fast as the, as these guys. You think these guys that's leaving run a four or five or four or two, and these guys right here run a four or seven? No, these guys are just as fast, just as explosive. Some of them may be a little better. We don't know. We'll see in this game. But um, I'm gonna go ahead. At, like Big Ragu, I think you just might have been late to the punch, like you said. <clears throat> um, SEC. They're going to win some of them earlier games. But this late game right here, this is where they're going to lose to an ACC team for North Carolina. They're going to put it in there. So you're going to give me seven and a hook, or can I get better than that, Jimmy? Yeah, I think you might be able to get an eight. Let me uh, shop for you. Wait, 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 wait. Before you shop. No, no, let, let's let's change it around for him. Just, I'm, we're going to have some fun. Let me get North Carolina first half plus the points. And then give me uh, – North Carolina, 
full game money line. Ooh. Upset alert. Wow. 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 Okay, you can have three and a half at plus 110, four at minus 110, four and a half at minus 120. Um, uh, Give me a three and a half minus 110. I want to win. Plus 110. Oh, three and a half plus 110. I'll take that. Okay. You give me a field goal and a cookie. That's good for me. Boss, first half, NC, plus three and a half at plus 110, and that is available at Bet MGM. Bet MGM. All right. And then full game money line for Big Boss. We'll go to the money lines here at shopping on odds.com. And we have well, a. One thing, Jim. Yeah. So Sam Howe, you know, he was recruited by Florida State. Oh, yeah, I read that. Yeah, so this guy knows him pretty good on the other side of the field. Yep. Well, you know what's even more with that? He committed to Florida State and then bailed to stay in North Carolina. So you don't think Fisher, um, you know, has a little uh, little something to prove here? Wait a minute, but you know in that situation, it's kind of like the telephone. It works both ways. You can call or you can be called. So just like, you know, Jim Bay Fisher might have an edge from recruiting this guy, but this guy might have an edge because Jimbo Fisher knows really how good he is. He might not have an edge. He might have a little disdain. Yeah. yeah you know, he, he, may, he, may, he may charge. He may, uh, he may call the problem. Commit, and that, uh, those coaches don't, don't forget that, but – and the players don't either. The players know what's going on. It's, uh, Sam Howell ain't in there uh, playing for fun. He's, hey, he's Sam Howell's producing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> 37 and a half is the team total for Texas A&M. Not flush asking. All right. We have John Ryan to put a bow on this card and on this game. John, take it away. Well, uh, uh, two things. Both coaches come from uh, colleges that won national championship games. You know, Texas – and Florida State. So they. this is a great coaching matchup, and it should be a very fun chess game to watch. Um, I, I think Texas A&M, and, and you have to be careful with this, and this is my experience talking to myself and everybody else, that A&M should be really pissed off that they're not in the, uh, the Final Four. And honestly, as you already know, I think they would have put up a much better matchup against Alabama than what we're going to see. But, you know, Fisher's been there, and he is a strong enough coach uh, that he's going to tell his players, you know, stop crying. You didn't get in. Maybe next year you'll get in. But this year, you know what? You didn't get in. But we're playing in the Orange Bowl, and we're going to make the best of it, and we're going to bring a load, and we're going to show ourselves who we really are. We have nothing to prove to anybody else. We, We have nothing to prove to the committee. So I, I say that because, you know, sometimes we get emotional with betting and you see a team like A&M and you go, oh, my God, they're, you know, they're going to kill them because they're pissed off. Well, you know, I played sports just like these guys did. And sometimes when you're pissed off is when you make the worst possible play you can ever imagine in your life because you're not focused. So, you know, I think my play is going to be on A&M as, as, you know, DJ and I are going back and forth. Uh, one of the main reasons is Texas A&M has a SOS of 45. North Carolina is down the low 30s. Uh, and really the only team um, that comes to mind here recently is Notre Dame. Uh, and they went into Chapel Hill and won 31 to 17 as four and a half point favorites. And that was a week where you know, the media was saying, oh, Notre Dame's in trouble. Notre Dame's in trouble. Well, you know, North Carolina gained 87 rushing yards against Notre Dame, 211 passing yards, uh, you know, by how. Now, I ask you all, and the chat room can answer too, who's the better defense, Notre Dame or Texas A&M? If you think Texas A&M, then you, you know, the pick is obvious. So you can put me down for A&M. I doubled up first half full game. What are you doing? Uh, I'll do full game. Full game. I'll, I'll join you, Jimmy. I'll do. I'll do the same thing. First half minus four minus one ten at circa, and full game minus seven at minus 
110. You know, I agree with that breakdown, and that's why I'm. I think Ragu going over to that team total under 27 and a half at plus 110 was nice. I'm doing the same there. So I've tripled up there. Uh, John Ryan on first half full game. John, any addition team total anything before we put a bow on this? Uh, no, just the uh, those two the the game Texas A&M in first half. 